Hi guys, Frost Fangs here, back again with another Paladins video back on live. We're going to be doing Grover today. If you haven't seen my two videos on the Dawnforge PTS, check those out. I show off the skins and the map and all that stuff, because today I'm not really going to be talking about anything in the Dawnforge update. Grover is the exact same. I'm going to be focusing on Rampant Blooming and Deep Roots and sort of ignoring Ferocity, even though it's the one I use the most and is probably the best option in most scenarios. I'm going to be focusing today just on sort of heals. Very similar to what I said in the McCurr video that I put up recently. I've been playing a lot of Grover in prep for the video and he's turned into one of my favorite healers and I just kind of default to him at the moment. For the build, I literally only have one of them, which I just run in every scenario. We've got extra radius, damage reduction, cooldown reduction off the queue, and I go for Kronos and this just pretty much works everywhere with probably Rampant Blooming. Deep Brutes isn't very good, so I'm not really going to be focusing on that at all, even though I'm kind of talking about both of them. Deep Brutes just overall is kind of whatever. By default, I'd probably recommend Ferocity just because the hybrid setup works better for Grover, helps with the alt gen, and just overall, it's probably a better choice. So we have the Q for the heal, the F for the heal. They actually did fix it. It was broken for a while. But anyway, into round one, we've got Spitting Ice, Aegis, Pluck, Abyss, Spike, and then Reposition, Aegis as well, Curse of Pluck, and Spirit's Chosen. Sort of similar matchup here. Just gonna try and sit in the middle of the team and do heals and stuff. We'll pull forward a little bit. That was kind of risky. My co hooked to that, I would have got screwed. There's the Q, he did go for it, but he missed it, so it's fine. There's another hit, there's a hit right click. It's F as well. Well, just for that little burst heal it does heal you as well so it does give you like sustain in a bit of a weird way i'm not going to be focusing here on damage at all obviously we will deal a little bit seems like the team still had it covered i didn't go through the or anything so i don't really check it is a casual game after all drop the q here for the amani here we go we can do an f as well which i think does go through walls but i don't know the exact range on it and just on the side playing a bit of an angle that was actually out of range by like a tiny bit there's a hit maybe and a finish on kness so we're going to pull in there's a heal on him co is at the top there's a q Okay, can we get rid of this Fernando? He's kind of low. The Stamper with the ult. That is the 0-1. That was kind of rough. It feels really weird for me just to play Grover as a healer, just because he feels so sort of designed to be an aura healer as you deal damage and stuff. And Ferocity does work really, really well for that. So this is sort of a video where I'm trying to convince you to not play the normal way and try and do this, which sometimes works really well. In this scenario, if the team deals like enough damage, it should be fine. There goes the Mako. He nearly got an ult off them. Probably would have killed Amani. Fernando ulted for some reason. I think that was an accident. There's a Q. My dragon just pushing up here. Just making sure she's fine. I was pushing around the side because I'm worried about that Andro a little bit. Yeah, here he is. There's a hit Cripple. There's another hit and he's out. The obvious downside to this setup, you do still heal for a ton even if you're not going for the F1, just like as a hybrid sort of thing, is that to get the extra healing from the F with this, you do have to sort of use your escape. It has a pretty short cooldown, even with Cronus 1 now on like six or seven seconds. Can still do the glitch with the F to get extra range. I don't know if they're going to fix that or what the plan is. They said they fixed it and they just didn't, but you can definitely still do it if you like point down and hook up, just as an example. You can go pretty much infinite distance and nearly. They did fix a bit of it. It's still kind of jank though. Hit the Q there for the Amani, but she is out. The tank's pushing in. We're going to do the pull all the way over here, which I shouldn't have been able to do. Like I said, it is still kind of broken. Sit further back that's a really solid hook there from the curb i think she got away not sure exactly what happened there we're going to pull over here a bit for some extra heals i do have the ult we pop it don't know if we need it just yet we are sort of running away pop the f up here there's a q that was really jank self heal did help out a bit though should be focusing the kinesis if i can but i'm so focused on heals i'm not really able to do what i would usually do here with him he's gone it's an f pull it down like i said you can use it for the self heal there give us some extra sustain and stuff my axes are terrible successful doesn't even matter one one we'll go for more chronos just gonna focus on maxing that out and then i'll probably go morale boost haven and veteran or nimble it's pretty much the combo i always go with with grover being able to cancel your ultimate for like a huge percentage of your ult back is a reason why it's such a solid option do i pull in here i was tempted to go help the mando okay he's gonna ult solo me there we don't have any heals aside from me so i guess it was kind of worth i don't really know what to go for here have i just crashed Okay, classic Paladins. Absolutely classic. Talked about it before, so I'm not going to go on about it here, but crashing for me with Paladins is insanely inconsistent. I'll go months sometimes without any problems, and then I'll have a cluster of crashes in like a week. It's completely random. I'll try to make things to fix it, and it still just happens regardless. Anyway, back into it. Just trying to duel here, but I do have shields blocking me. Wrecker would actually not be a terrible choice here, because I find occasionally with Grover that can work. We'll pull here. It's a Q. Damper with the ult. Again, I DC'd right after the first one. I guess I can frick it dead again. Trying to sort of counter snipe the Knesset. Getting locked in spawn a bit here. There's a Q for him. We'll pull in just for the heal. I do have the ult, which I suppose could save this. I'll pop it here just to make sure Nando's up. We should pull the shield down. We'll just use the full duration of it here to give us some time. There's a shot on the right click for the root. Nice. We'll pull in on the Kinesa just to push it off a bit. 
Sure, hit, right click, shout, that actually worked. I'm glad the team sort of followed me there. Should be pretty safe here if we've got a good angle. We can get heals to a bunch of people and stay sort of pushed up. I'm dead though. That's the Andro just doing exactly what I just said right before it happened. George went for the ult, didn't get anybody. Mako on their side went for it, did kill Amako, who was really close to joining it. There is the 1 3. We are still in it. I feel like I got kind of screwed by crashing because it kind of lost us around, I feel like. But Andro's got ult and money's got it, so is Mako. We're more than halfway there. Dredge used his at the end of that round, but. Just keep it going. The big thing I'd say about crashing with paladins, even though I've tried a bunch of things to fix it, is that it never happens with any other game. It's pretty much always paladins. I can't really remember any experience I've had with a different game that like consistently gives me problems with crashing inconsistently. That makes sense. That's just so many ultimates. Makoa used his and died somehow. It's a cue for him. Just give him some heals. Makoa's trying to deal with the Amani. I'm trying to save her ass here. I feel like we can sort of play around him if I just get my like abilities off at the right time. Don't even know what I'm saying, but there we go. He's gone. Somehow we won that team fight. I don't know how because I feel like it went really downhill, but we're in it. That's the damn ult. Oh, there's the Q. I do have a mine, but I don't know if I should use it. I think their Andro has DC'd or crashed, which is much more likely. Usually in the games that do crash, it's not just one person. Usually it tends to be like one or two from my experience. Very anecdotal, but I mentioned it. I feel like that is very much the reason we won that last round, but that's Andrew going for the ult on the floor. Don't know why the Andrew bot is kind of weird with that. There's a right click. Didn't really do anything there. We'll F floor for the heal. There's a Q. Did get that to Makoa as well. There's a root for him. Not a root anymore. It's a cripple. Even if you go for the talent, there's another Q. We'll pull up here for a big heal. So hit right click. Nearly landed the combo. Do I ult for the Nando? Probably not. There's a Q. Makoa's in the back. Pulled at a bit of a weird angle, but I think I did get some heals there. There's a hit. There's another one push successful. Nice. Maybe we can finish off the Kinesa here in the slow mo. Worried about being killed, but we are alright. There we go. 3-3. Three, three. Very quick round there to take advantage, I guess, of the Andro DC. It's kind of cheesy, but yeah, we're now even. Anyway, in we go. There's a Q. There's a hit right click. Do I F here in? Sure, there's a little bit of a burst heal. Felt kind of safe, so I went for it. There's a Q. That's Makura on me. Jesus Christ, the burst there. Can it hit me at the right time as well? He's going for the ult. Then is playing very aggressive. I do have to give him props. Amani's going for a really, really weird ult. We do need to touch, although I think Fernando was on it. He went for the ult. If I could get there in time for the ult save, it is 3-3. We do need to touch it here. I'm going to go for the Q and then the ultimate. There's a Q. There's an F. Hit right click. There's a hit. There's an ult. I did not expect him to use his there as well, but that's fine. There's a Q. We'll pull if I can sort of up. There's a hit right click. Oh my god, she's on like two health. There's a Q. This is so messy, man. I don't know what I'm doing here. There's an F for heal. So right click for the cripple. Sure, he's gone. I thought he might have gone for his ult there, but obviously he went it for it earlier. There's an F. Are we actually going to recover this one too? I really don't feel like we should have had that. Andrew definitely is back here. He's gone. I really do not feel like we should have had that one. Kinesis is trying to get the touch here, but there is the victory. Feels kind of unwarranted, but we did recover it, I suppose, really well at the last round. Though. The team was getting the sort of consistent pressure, and I feel like they did pretty good with the heals, but that was obviously a really messy game. There are the stats if you're interested. We're going to re though and do one more. We'll do an Onslaught. For me, at least, it tends to do a bit better in Onslaught than a Siege, but it really does depend, because in Siege, I can do better damage with Ferocity, whereas in Onslaught, I feel like I can heal more just because of the way the maps are and obviously the game mode, but let's go ahead and grab him and straight into game two. Magic Zarka is a perfect example of what I was just talking about. So for the teams, we've got a Khan, Kazumi, Betty, and Ying. I'd say Grover tends to do a bit better when you're with another healer, but definitely isn't necessary. You can do fine as a cell, though, but you have a way easier time, of course, with two. Isn't always the case, though, with healers for me. We are up against a Vadu, a Talos, a Satya Ram, and a Corvus. We've got Storm of Bullets, Resonance, Fire Disposition, Empowered Curse, Dark Gift, Window Opportunity, Earth Split, Inner Strength, Enveloping Shadows. Frosty, yeah, would probably add up a bit more damage on some of the shots like this early on, but I think through most of the game, the extra healing is going to probably help the team more. Hopefully, being there, getting shredded by the Talos, he's going to teleport back to where he was a second ago. There's a Q, there's an F as well. There's a missed combo on the Vadu, who's actually causing quite a bit of trouble. We do have free ult gen on the Ram. There goes Corvus, but we do have to be kind of careful, because I feel like I can get shredded kind of quick if I'm flanked. We're still fine, I think. We can use the F for the self-heal. More hits. We have the ult up, so I have a sort of a get-out-of-jail-free card until the late game, just because the crazy amount of healing you get on the ult is enough to save you. There's a full heal on him. So hit right-click, trying to get rid of the Corvus he's playing. Like a weird damage setup, but Rahm's actually body blocking him. Okay, he's an F on the floor. He's going to pull back here. In fact, he just jumped to me. We are fine. I'm trying to get into spawn door here. I thought he was going to go on me, so I was trying to get as far away as possible. We'll go for Haven as well. Talos went for the ult on Betty. There's a cripple. He's gone. Sure, we could pull in here, maybe. Go for something aggressive. That's not as far as I wanted to go, but I guess it works. Behind the Rahm. He's not expecting me to be here whatsoever. Don't know why I'm here, to be honest. We'll go for the pull escape again. Got weirdly caught. There's hits on him. We have the ult. We're definitely having problems here with the damage. Or anything else there's an ult to heal him back up to full 
Left click, right click. I think I messed up the combo there. It's an F on the floor for the heals. I feel like I'm doing more damage than a lot of people on my team right now. He's gone. Just got out of the Corvus ult there. More hits on him. Hello, Sati. We're going to pull down here. I don't know if it heals through walls. I didn't actually test the F. I feel like it does just as much as the Q does. But I actually might be wrong on that. There goes the Corvus. It's a Q. Going to pull up. Sometimes the F is kind of jerky. She's gone. I have the ultimate. Do we pop it here? Yeah, sure. And we'll just cancel it. Get him back up to full. It's a super common play with him. You get a really big percentage of it back. It's nowhere near as bad as it once was. It's still like a shit ton of gen though. There's the Q. Being going for the ult F here for the heal on him. There's a right click for her. Up top there's a Q. Trying to play sort of far away. Just going for her ult. But we should all be fine, right? That's a Batu. There's a Q. Trying to pop it again just for the damage reduction. I usually use it even if there's not that many people who are low. Just going to go for our ult here and wiggle back to the middle. There's a Q, there's an F, just for as much healing as possible. I missed the crawl by like a second. Avatu is on nothing, moving kind of mad. Hello, enemy Sati. Finished off morale boost and Kronos, because I am going for four heals here. Like, really dedicating myself to the bit. I do not know what the hell the Betty was trying to do there. It's on the Talos, who's just sitting down there for some reason. We'll pull in, because the Corvus is kind of a free kill. If we can just, like, actually get a viewpoint on him, because he's playing kind of weird. That's Talos going for the ult. We'll go for hours, just to keep them all up got such a crazy gen on it that I feel like I might as well just pop it. Betty with the ult. There's an F on the floor for another big heal. Don't know how the hell these guys are nearly dying. If they just dip out of anti-heal for like a second, I feel like they get put back up to full. They're just positioning themselves really weird. There's a Q. We'll F up here, try and keep the ying alive. But again, damage really is the problem here. I feel like I really am struggling here. That's Ram with the ult. Tried to get around the corner. That's ying with the ult as well. I nearly had a mine. Still dead though from that combo. Corvus is popping his too. I go for double veteran. Sure. We did somehow recover it. We were like 150 behind, so I gotta give the team props at least for that. Right click for the ROM. There's a Q trying to keep Ying up here. I've got Mile. I'll go ahead and pop it. Sure. Still dead though, because I'm in the middle of like everybody. Jesus Christ, what the hell was that play? Tiles is definitely back, by the way. I'm eventually gone. Yeah, they deserve the win. I don't think we really should have won this at all, to be honest. We'll see with the stats, but that me and Ying were really trying with the heals it just didn't work out a bit of a crappy note to end it I feel like but there are the stats we had top damage on our side other than the Betty by like a tiny bit which is kind of crazy considering I was going for healing there we healed for 92k as well my stat there I'm quite happy with but yeah they kind of speak for themselves <laughs> I don't know what else I can say personally like I said throughout the video Ferocity and Hybrid Grover is the way that I like to play him Rampant Blooming is fine but definitely worse than Ferocity in most scenarios if you're doing semi-decent with your weapon and aside from rampant blooming and ferocity deep roots at the moment just really isn't worth running in my opinion of course i'd love to hear you guys' thoughts on it down in the comments thank you so much for watching leave a like if you enjoyed of course let me know what you want to see me the next i'll see you guys all really really soon and as always stay frosty